we all use android mobiles every day so there is android os like android marshmallow android p so if what it will be if we can use the android os straight away in our desktop in the full vision like game can play games and also watch tv so i am not talking about the android emulator i am talking about pure android os so in this video i am going to show you how you can use and install pure android os on your desktop or pc let's get started Hi, I am Somnath. You are watching Somtip. So here it is the Phoenix OS X86. I have given the download link in the description or the website link. So if you go to that link, here you can see the recommended one. Then the EXE or ISO. I recommend to install the ISO around 800 to 900 MB size, and this is the Android 7.1 based on Android 7.1 Nougat. There is also one available Android 5.1 low end PC. Please install the Android 5.1. Otherwise, if you have at least 2 GB RAM and 20 GB of hard disk space, if you have hard disk space of 20 GB, then only use this. If you do not have 20 GB of hard disk space to install this OS, then leave this video and don't watch this video. But if you have 20 GB hard disk, then proceed this video. So I have downloaded that ISO of Phonix OS. This is based on the Android X86 project so this is kind of an emulator so and android virtual device on the android studio whatever you use that kind of same thing here it is so in this iso you can see this kind of efi this also works in efi so i am going to use the triple boot so before going to that and here you can see another software is needed of 1 mb just size free software rufus this is the bootable usb maker so i have already said in my previous video this about this software just download this latest version from here only 900 kb i have already downloaded so i'm not downloading and just skipping it so just after downloading what you have to do i'm going to say so here it is right click and run as administrator on the rufus or just open it will ask the admin permission to do so because it is going to access the disk part command prompt so after this just insert your any pen drive at least size of 8 gb recommended so here it is i have inserted 16 gb pen drive then select the iso from your file browser so i am going to select that iso and there is also option efi cms support or not as i am going to use the efi not mbr so uefi will be selected and the bios normal bios will be disabled then this one and here you can see this right mark you can also check the checksum so sometimes if you download with torrent the checksum checking is very much important so then click on ok and all the sd card or the pen drive will be formatted and the phonics os will be installed so in this way you can install it and here you can see another thing you have to do right click on my computer or this pc go to storage then if you go to storage i have already mentioned just before this video the 20 GB hard disk space is recorded or unallocated 20 GB but here you can see no unallocated space so what do you have to do can I get 20 GB extra yes you can here you can see this is the 450 GB around uh, space or partition you can take away another partition from that pre partition this is only available in EFI or EFI partition GUID partition so here you can see I am going to shrink the volume sync so just type uh, around 20 GB size whatever just calculate 20 GB into MB then enter here you can see uh, 20 GB have been unallocated then again you can also add after uninstalling this OS just extend the partition of previous partition and this 20 GB will be added over there so now I'm going to create the 500 MB first partition and rest of the second partition out of 20 GB because the first partition will be boot partition or EFI partition second one will be the OS partition so I am not going to select any kind of data le level or the drive path so just and here it is the partition time I am going to select the FAT32 not the NTFS why I am going to say further this video so keep watching so whatever I am doing just do the same way first of all create a 500 MB partition uh, ext not ext it is the fat 32 so next again the remaining whatever amount is unallocated click next and also select this kind of partition as the fat 32 
so after doing this kind of stuff click ok and two partition is ready total 20 gb you have used out of this and here you can see the phoenix os installation to pen drive have been completed if you go there this ready button is showing so already have installed so i'm now going to shut down this windows or any kind of thing so i'm going to triple boot already ubuntu and this windows 10 is installed again i am going to install this kind of third OS. so how it will be the third OS? i am going to save so before you install what you have to do just check run this so if we escape it and another thing is that go to the setting and the secure boot option very important if you are going to use in laptop disable this secure boot otherwise you cannot proceed or use this phonix os because this is the new ox and the secure boot permission have not been granted so again here you can see just select this sandix uefa partition and run this phonix os so every linux whatever ubuntu linux mean anything which is comes kali linux everyone have a live cd demo that's mean you can run the os without installing so the linux os basically becomes very lightweight comparing to the windows so that's why you can run it and 2gb ram is very much efficient for any kind of linux os so here you can see if you run this sometimes it will take for initialization and then select the english and the chinese two option is there so skip everything and give an owner name or take it as a by default owner remember if you change anything in the live cd demo mode it will not be saved again if you reboot all the setting will be comes to default so this is the main interface almost like the if you use the android and as well as use the any kind of linux build it is a very familiar to you so first of all you have to enable the developer mode you already know build seven times and the build number then go to developer mode to see the ram usage as it is a nogat so here you can see more than 6 gb is available because the 8 gb so it is over my because this is hardware is very good of this laptop but if you have 2 gb ram or amd processor you cannot use your pc you can use your pc and very interactive way because in android you can play games play tv movies everything it is available on android so i'm now going to click the power button and shut down the device so after shutting down the device another thing you have to do if you have enabled this kind of hinder bit or fast boot option in windows you cannot install to hard disk because the hard disk write mode will be locked and it is same to the ubuntu if you have the amendment mode on you cannot do anything in this partition of the windows so what you have to do this code power config slash the hinder bit mode off or on you have to make it off so just copy it right click and run as administrator command prompt no error will become and here you can see hinder bit mode have gone so now it's ready for the burning to the hard disk so here again the same way now click on the install to hard disk not the ram the phonix os so remix os it is the previous version other developer have installed or used now it is the phoenix os so here you can see why i have the fat 32 over there not the ndfs other windows drive it is showing ndfs so it will be very confusing to select which drive is there because no name is showing only sd1234 this way showing so first of all create and modify to check the partition is detected in proper way or not so here you can see 19.5 gb and as well as 500 and mb it is showing over there so it is done very well so now what you have to do click that one just before the last one because last one is ubuntu so that partition will be the 500 200 gb and other will be the 500 mb so in this way you can do first you have to format the whole 19.5 gb partition for the os then click on the efi group to yes we want to efi partition then select it and this will be the second one because it was sd9 so now it will be sd8 for the 500 mb partition so go over there and click to install the bootloader so click on yes you want to format the boot partition and as well as also group bootloader so click yes by default it is skipping so click yes and it has been started writing so like windows installation it is starting the phonix os or android os installation so it will take us very small time because only 800 mb iso size so syncing the disk and run phoenix os or reboot i must recommend to reboot at least once after the installation so this is a very simple way but you have to follow the steps very carefully again you have to press escape button 
until and unless this window pops up so here you can see and now new partition uefi os that is the ubuntu windows boot manager and uefi os and the sandy soil so os have been installed successfully now what you have to do just eject your pen drive or remove your pen drive and again control alter delete to reboot and this phonics os will start so every time you have to click the escape button to start the phonix os so it will take 10 minutes to 30 minutes don't forget to subscribe some tips and hit the bell icon to get notification of future videos so phoenix was started click and select the language so as already i have mentioned previous it will be the english usa click skip for the wi-fi network then give some name or at is it owner so here phoenix os is running successfully so this is the notification panel or toggle button in the right side like windows 10 action menu so everything just copied them but on the linux kernel so it is the very much thing good thing is that you can access all the windows partition here you can see c drive also accessible so no problem all the windows file you can access from the phoenix os file manager so there is nothing another recycle menu and this is the setting so in the setting again you have to enable the developer mode to see the ram usage the so build seven build number tap seven times and your developer mode enabled so go there and you can see can check the os almost over 6 gb is available so it is very much lightweight i must say and it is very fast so to overcome this option every time pressing the escape button just move to top the uefi os in the boot priority and it will not ask every time so now what you have to do you have to log in your google id to access the google play store and further app installation so i have logged in to my google id and here you can see so these two os or this two app is required avdv screen record or az screen recorder for the screen recording purpose and here no internal audio supported in this api or the under no guard so that's the default browser here you can see that fully desktop mode is supported over there full desktop mode if you press google.com here you can see full desktop mode is supported and no problem at all but it is recommended to use for your transaction or any kind of security thing use the google chrome browser this is the by default browser and here you can see the video is playing very smoothly no problem at all the ad is also showing over there so there you can see pc user or the user agent is showing android and apple you can change so i am now going to install the google chrome and let's see how the google render the desktop view over the google chrome so google chrome is installing and here you can see i have opened the google chrome and again going to start playing the youtube video and here you can see it is playing very well no problem at all so here you can another thing the default browser you can just scan the qr code and open the same link in your mobile so this is something very cool tweak have been done this default browser of the phonix os so if you go to security setting or the setting of the phonix os default browser just change to baidu search engine to google search engine and there is another thing ad block i don't know why chinese hate the google ads so just disable the ad block and after this you can see the advertisement so here you can see after the disabling ad block many website does not support ad block so it is recommended to disable the ad block and here you can see ad breaks are showing and the top right corner youtube ads also showing so that's how we can use phoenix os i have given all the download link and necessary link in the description you can install it as i have said in the process and let me know in the comment box how you are using what is your opinion regarding this phoenix os that's all for this video like this video share this video don't forget to subscribe some tips i'm going to meet you in my next video very soon till then goodbye and stay subscribed to some tips